back on the mountains to see trail and for the first time this will be an overnight trip on the mountains to see trail the goal on this trip is to make it from buck creek gap to black mountain campground today which will be approximately eight miles tomorrow we will travel from black mountain campground to the summit of mount mitchell where this section will end company today by my wife and uh about 75,000 bikers down here at the Buck Creek parking area. So it's a good day to ride, but a better day to hike. <laughs> My wife just took a selfie of us on the trail and uh, I'm doing a selfie of me vlogging the trail. Um, I stopped back for a, a restroom break in the fine facilities up here on the Mountain Sea Trail. In any event, um, just want to say it's been a little while since I've been out here. Uh, early May. It's now late June and the trail hasn't changed very much. A little bit greener but it's just nice to be back on the trail. Some of the biggest fungus that I have ever seen There's out here. Fungus among us. There is a fungus among us isn't there? <laughs> fungus come out of trees uh, known sometimes in some circles as rots. R-O-T-S. That's a sign that the tree is dead, or, well, it's going to be dead here on the mountains to see trail, or any trail for that matter. We are only a, about a mile and a half in. You can hear the beautiful sound of motorcycles along the Blue Ridge Parkway today. Couldn't have queued that up any better. Check that out. <coughs> what do you call those again? Burrs? big one. We're approximately a mile and a half uh, into the trail for the day and we're crossing the Blue Ridge. Cinch Cat Ridge Overlook on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Cinch Cat Ridge 3406. MST is like a rock. It's solid, man. It's solid. It's a solid trail. I'm just trying to find symbolism in that. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. Just like a big old lung out here on the mountains of Sea Trail. Tell you what, it's very peaceful in here. Very peaceful, pretty. And I think that my lens is dirty, but not anymore. I want the videos that I bring bring you here with this simple action camera to look as good as they can. Because it's hard to bring. Uh, the beauty of the trail uh, to YouTube or to a video, a vlog, anything of that nature. Speaking of nature, it's a big tree, man. It's one of the biggest trees I've seen out here. <laughs> tree hugger. You can't even hug that one. It's too big. You could climb it. That'd be fun for the video, right? Met a nice biker couple back there and was able to take a few pictures of them. That's one thing that uh, I always like to do if someone asks me to take a picture of them. Absolutely, you know, there are times that we want our picture taken, and there are probably times that we don't. Okay, we're getting back uh, toward the Blue Ridge Parkway again, but pretty soon we'll be leaving, and uh, MST will go toward the Black Mountain Campground. What do you call those things? Newt. Newt, that's right, like Newt Gingrich. That was the first Newt that I believe I've seen 
on my mountain to sea trail hike. See them at Stone Mountain every now and again, but I think that was the first with MST. Probably not the first one we passed. I definitely would not have seen it. But I have the newt finder with me. She, she can spot a newt from a mile away. We're approximately three to four miles away from Black Mountain Campground. And pretty good trail maintenance through here. There's not a, an easy access that I can see for this section, but they've been coming through here taking care of the trail. So those doing trail maintenance out here on section four near Black Mountain Campground, a big thumbs up to you. Notice something moving through the trees. Caught my eye and uh, I looked up and saw what I think was a falcon flying through the trees here. Um, probably, I don't know how many miles, so my, my mileage is off on my trackers, but somewhere uh, close to Black Mountain Campground. It's beautiful. what I don't know much about the North Carolina high peaks never met anyone on it so I'm not plugging this for anybody but I'll say the trails that I've been on that I see that sign or I see something associating the North Carolina high peaks with um, the trails are immaculate so thumbs up to any of you who are associated with the North Carolina high peaks if you're watching this um, I have uh, hiked several of your trails and I love them there's several more I want to hike so thanks for taking care of this section like I said earlier Looks really good out here on segment four near Black Mountain Campground. Rated as more difficult and uh, open this section only for hiking. It's like you're walking through a Disney cartoon with these birds singing. Nice little bridge going around the creek. It's a creek. It's a, it's a dry right now. That is a big old pile of nasty. The wife they slip right there, but she made it. Good job. Well, if they think the Mountain Sea Trail between those two spots is more difficult, I don't know what they're going to call to climb up to the top of Mitchell tomorrow. So we are closing in on the Black Mountain Campground now, and this will be the end of my hike on the Mountain of Sea Trail segment four. Started at Beacon Heights. And it ends here at Black Mountain Campground. A little 
little gear review. I have the Arc Hall Z Packs pack here with a thermo rest seat, which I've not used just yet. The Arc Hall did great on the hike using uh, a duplex tonight. We've got it pitched, not perfectly. I don't want to say that it's a perfect first pitch, but it works. We got everything in there. Um, this is about a pound and I believe eight ounces before the stakes. So you're looking probably at coming in under two pounds total for this tent. And inside I have on my side the orange uh, Sea to Summit sleeping pad. I think it's around one pound. Um, I have a Thermo Rest pillow, my luxury item. And then that's a uh, Revelation, a uh, lighting equipment Revelation quilt, 950 uh, down tech. Very light, very compressible. And holding this up here with the black diamond trekking poles. So that is our setup for the night. Keen will be using her Thermo Rest pad and a Seat of Summit bag. Plan right now is to wake up early in the morning and head up to Mitchell. Tonight's meal is freeze-dried rice and chicken. Here's what it looks like in wide um, angle. Too lazy to switch the settings over to, uh, to zoom. But it's really good. Not bad at all. Mountain House. Freeze-dried rice and chicken. Check it out.